Before we get into this video then today, if you are new to the channel and you are joining this video or this channel because of what's happened over at Football Index, then be sure to hit that subscribe button because on this channel, what we aim to do is look for ways to make money online. But what I'll do is I'll fully test out absolutely everything from start to finish, go in as a beginner, come out hopefully making money and knowing what to do, and I'll tell you guys how to do it. So it's no bullshit that you normally see over on YouTube. It is literally me trying to copy what other people are doing on YouTube, seeing if it really works. And if we lose money, then at least you know not to do it yourself. So what we'll do, we'll run the intro, I'll get into it and I'll explain to everyone, or try to explain to everyone, what the hell's going on over at Football Index. So for those of you who already know, obviously we did some videos over on Football Index earlier on in the year. We did a week where we invested £10 into new players every single day to see how that went out. We've used their referral code many times on this channel to try and boost the income. We've done quite a bit with Football Index and I have still got an account at the moment, although as I'm sure you guys will be aware, no account on Football Index is worth anything anymore. So if I show you guys behind me, you can just see here, based on this first bit, I will be completely honest, I am not a fully 100% sure what's happened over at Football Index. I don't think anyone is. I don't think anyone understands where their money's actually gone and how they've managed to lose so much. But we will get into this. I will try and figure it out today. I'll give you just a brief overview and then we'll try and look into it in a bit more depth. So you can see over here on Reddit, this guy, this user, Big Nozzers, is asking how much money did everyone lose? He lost 1,000, other people lost around about 10,000, someone here lost 26,000, 8,000. Quite a lot of people have lost a huge amount of money in the last few days on Football Index, and you might be wondering exactly why. So this takes us back to the 5th of the 3rd, which was just about a week ago. They put out a market update. They said in this high traders i'd like to start by saying a big thank you for all the questions you submitted over the course of the past few weeks this is because football index have always said in their terms and conditions they have the right to restructure the dividend plan on their platform as long as they give 30 days notice this is where all the chaos starts because around about 30 days ago they announced a dividend restructure which isn't very good. Let's just say, without going into too much detail, reading all this and looking into the leagues they're looking to bring into and everything like that, they are reducing the payout from dividends by 80 to 90%. You might be wondering why that's such a big deal because for those who invest just briefly in like the stock market, you'll know you kind of trade the stock more than you wait for the dividend payout, unless you are literally going for dividends. The reason it's so important for Football Index is because if you watch them videos we did on the platform not too long ago, you'll have saw we actually lost all the money on the players, but we made ourselves really close to the profit, and in some players we broke profit just through the use of the dividends. And the dividends is the main reason, I'd say, people use Football Index, because you've got people trading Messi. No one expects Messi's price to go up. He's in his 30s. People are trading Messi because of his in-play dividends, and the fact they want to see him score some goals, get some money that way. And you already know from the video we did that the dividends weren't massive. You were getting a couple pence here and there. So with an 80 to 90% reduction in then dividends, you can already see where the problems are starting to lie. So when that got announced, anyone who had a huge amount of money in the company, alarm bells obviously start ringing. If I'd have paid more attention to the company and saw this, with my only £5 invested in the company, I would have got that money out of there straight away. Because if your company is reducing the amount it outputs by 80 to 90%, you clearly know there's a problem going on. So along with this announcement, they finished off by suspending the market. Not for very long, literally from the night to the next day, so it was suspended overnight. But that also rings alarm bells. If a market ever gets suspended, you cut ties and you get out of there as soon as you're allowed. So this is their brief little description. Obviously, you can go check this out. The link's there at the top. 
So what does it actually mean? Well, I've looked on Reddit because I thought this is probably the best place to look because everyone on here is going through this situation. They know more about it than I do. So someone said, what has happened? And basically, I'll read through the kind of sarcastic ones, but they announced they would be slashing dividends by 80%, so many people, understandably, decided it was time to sell up as fast as possible, which is exactly what I've just described. It's fully understandable why people would do that. Some people have said it's a pyramid scheme, but you've got to think about this. When you are trading with a normal stockbroker, you are essentially buying a piece of that company. You are buying a share in that company. When it comes to football index, you trade in footballers. You don't have any ownership of that player in the slightest. Buying a share on football index didn't actually get you anything. It just got you something valuable on football index where you then hoped someone else would come to football index and buy that share off you. The reason it became so successful was because there was a huge amount of people on the market to be able to actually create that demand and supply. So it did work because of how big the market was. So when this amount of people have started to leave the market because of the financial troubles that Football Index have had, it completely derails the whole structure of the platform, which isn't really good for the people who decided to stay put. This is also a good little bit of information here. If you were a new user going into this, you weren't really sure on who to buy. You can't buy a really good youngster or one you know about because they're not on the platform. You can't buy one of the bigger players because their prices are just going to be declining. There wasn't really a specific, really helpful guideline for it. And as you guys saw when we did it, the benchmarking system wasn't helpful in the slightest. It told us we were constantly at a profit, but then when it came to selling all the players, we were nowhere near a profit. It wasn't clearly set out to people how much money you were making or how much money you were losing but still we don't actually know what happened with the company's money where the money's gone because before they announced they were restructuring the dividends which caused this huge amount of upheaval to happen there must have been something to cause that need to reduce their spending to keep some money in the company this is potentially the best explanation here the ponzi scheme collapsed Football Index as a business was entirely reliant on new money coming in constantly, which it 100% was. There wasn't the benefit of having the company who you're investing in do really well because of what they're producing and stuff like that. Football Index was 100% tailored around supply and demand. Supply for a player or demand for the player was going to increase the, the price or reduce the price it really just needed a constant influx of new customers onto the platform. And you can argue with COVID and the pandemic, quite a lot of people won't have wanted to invest their money into stuff like this, which you can understand. So that has obviously been a hard hitting point for Football Index. And then with the measures they took to try and make sure that didn't completely collapse the company, they unfortunately did the complete wrong thing. They have reduced all meaning for anyone to join the company from a starting point and they have also pushed anyone who has any meaningful investment in the company straight out the door there was probably better ways they could have done this but then again i'm not a businessman that's why i'm not 100 percent sure so then with all that happening comes the announcement that happened yesterday i was going to do a video straight away yesterday when this announcement came out but i thought it's probably best to do it today instead, spend a bit of last night researching what happened, a bit of this morning researching before we got into it. So the announcement came yesterday, it says, Dear Football Index Community, we understand this has been a difficult and challenging week for you all. After much deliberation, we must, must now issue the following update. The board of Bet Index Limited has consulted with external legal and financial, advisor, financial advisors and the UK and Jersey Gambling Commissions the decision has been made to suspend the platform. This is an indefinite suspension whilst they go to court and potentially look at going into administration and trying to get possibly even a buyer for the club for the club for the platform. You can see here it does say that the administrators will be in contact with customers, creditors and other stakeholders to explain the next step. 
but that will not happen just yet. Whilst everything is waiting to happen, everything will be suspended. No trading, no payment transactions, no money in, no money out of the company. If you've got money in there, it is in there until the administrators, administrators have a look at the company and decide what the best next steps are. If you want to be 100% sure on what's happening next, definitely try and keep up to date. But you can see here the administrators will release a statement upon their formal appointment by the court, which is anticipated to be in the next 10 days. And we'll be able to share future timelines at that point. That is not going to be a huge update. In the next 10 days, that will basically be them telling the world that they've been appointed as the administrators. Administration process is a huge process for any company. It is not going to be a quick and easy fix for this. If you have a huge amount of money in this company, I regret to tell you that you probably will not be seeing that for a very long time. And that's where we touch on this next and final little point. One guy said 11 hours ago after this statement, I've got £51 in cash sitting in my account. Now this is money he's got in the account that isn't invested in players. It's just in his balance. I think I've got 90 pence in mine. I got very lucky that we did our experiment a very long time ago. And to be completely honest, I only looked up Football Index yesterday because I was trying to find some new ideas we could do a video on this with. And then I found all this and realised we definitely cannot do a video. It was actually one of you guys who requested down in the comments that we did more Football Index stuff around a week ago. And I completely agreed I enjoyed using the platform. But upon researching it a little bit last night, obviously we cannot do any more on that. As you can see here though, luckily for us, we did only have the 90 pence in the account and like four pound in Tariq Lamptey. So I'm not too worried about that money. But it does say here, this guy has the just 51 pounds put in his account. He understands that he's going to lose the money on the players he's invested in, but surely his cash is protected. That is where it gets a little bit iffy because you have put that money into that company. You have trusted your money with the company. And it's a bit of a strange line because as you can see by people here let's be honest by the time the administrators appeared because they do have to take a cut of the pay which is i know it's their job to do this but it is still a bit confusing to me outstanding contracts due for shirt sponsorship you've obviously got qpr who was sponsored by football index i think there's even a few more a few more clubs yep you can see here there's even nottingham forest who have also got themselves a shirt sponsor with them i think charlton used to be this shirt sponsor i'm not too sure maybe i'm just getting confused with the colors of nottingham forest but there were you could see even bristol rovers over here as well there was quite a lot of clubs who had got football index as their shirt sponsors so that is another outstanding fee that will need to get paid you then have the staff wages staff redundancy there is quite a lot of money that needs to get paid out from this company and this company might not have that money meaning that you will probably lose your money you've got in your account i believe later on down here there is a protection on the amount you have in your account basically the amount you've got sat in the account and it's a protection of around 40 percent but it's not going to be an easy cut and dry just transaction back to you in the matter of a few weeks it could potentially be months maybe even a year before you actually see your money from the account it is not great it is nothing that anyone wants to be part of at the moment but unfortunately things like this do happen with companies so the whole point of this channel is to try and make money online football index was something we tried it is seemingly something we will not be trying again or at least we won't be trying again in the near future if you've got any recommendations on things we should be given a try to then be sure to let me know down in the comments we tend to do a video over here every monday and every thursday the thursday slot is normally where we do a big video and the monday slot is normally where we do a video like this just discussing something or going over something or introducing a topic that we will then be using on the thursday if you've got any recommendations let me know down below and i hope some of you guys who haven't necessarily benefited from this football index collapse some of you who might now be struggling i hope you guys can stick around and hopefully benefit something from this channel and be able just to make even just a little bit of that money back hopefully over the course of the next few weeks and months but be sure to hit that subscribe button it'll be good to have you on board thank you for watching i apologize for all this it's a very shitty thing to happen but hopefully we can try and 
get some money from other sources and make sure that everyone's a little bit better off in a few weeks. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time.